Today I'm doing two art journal pages, so let's dive right in. Welcome back to Art Therapy with Jen. Today I'm working in my experimental type of journal. I'm going to be doing some uh, magazine mixed with paints and inks and pen and all kinds of fun stuff. So I'm starting there with this image I found. I believe this was an advertisement in a home decor magazine. Uh, I just thought it looked really neat, this lady sitting there, you know, looking out the window, reading a book. I imagine she's had a rough day at work and she's just trying to escape the real world a little bit. Uh, looking in a book, maybe listening to a podcast, maybe listening to a YouTube video and just looking outside and trying to forget all the crap that came with the day. And here I am tearing up some flower pictures. I want to add some texture to the paint I'm going to be putting down there. And they're just really pretty. <laughs> no rhyme or reason to this, just playing around. Um, I had done a page where I had used flowers a lot in my first ever art journal I did that I made out of a composition book. There's a flip through on this channel and I have a page that says every flower must first go through or grow through dirt. And uh, it just reminded me of that because I used tons of flowers for texture in that one. And then while that glue's drying, I'm actually going to start working on another page. I had a very stressful day, y'all, so <laughs> we're journaling it out. Um, I'm going to start cutting the background out of this lady here. I can't remember what magazine this was from. It was in my stash. So she is very fierce, though, like very fierce. Reminds me of my days when I used to watch America's Top Model all the time after class in college. <laughs> Do you want to be on top? <laughs> but anyway, I just thought she looked so dynamic and fun and, well, not really fun, more like fierce, but you know what I mean there. Here I'm going in with some black paint. We're going to make a background here just using the palette knife. And just building it up and smushing the paint around I'm using thicker type of paint so it's not drying fast and it's not um, just instantly mixing together really well which is what I want I want to create kind of a well y'all see it there like a a grungy smear <laughs> how's that for an art term grungy smearing <laughs> but I just I wanted to create something um, that would match the color palette of the lady in that epic red coat which oh my gosh when I show that image again like and you can see it for a second they've actually put screws on that giant collar to make this texture I mean someone went all out with that it's, it's pretty epic I like it I'm just adding some green there just to add some type of pop of color on there and <laughs> Now, I flip that over so I don't get that red paint on the other page. And we're going to go and add some paint to it. I'm using a thinner uh, white paint here just to smooth it around. Not like that other one I used the last time because, my goodness, I, I developed muscles squeezing that out of that tube. It has got to have gone bad. <laughs> and that was brand new paint that I have not had very long at all. But... Anyway, um, I am just using my finger there. I want this to have just round, like, wispy, cloud-like texture to it. And I'm wanting, t like you can see there, I'm not covering up those flowers quite completely. I want just a little bit to peek through so it gives it this kind of texture. And in my mind, this is a play on, you know, she's sitting there kind of escaping her life a little bit, you know, in a healthy way. And this kind of signifies, um, I guess, you know, the older shows when they would do flashbacks or they would show like a dream. They would do this fluffy um, cloud-like thing around it. A lot of times it was purple, you know, 80s and, and 90s video graphics. And um, I also wanted it to be kind of almost like a kid had done it a little bit and um, 
colors that reminded me of like a young girl's room or a teenager's room or something just to kind of play into that and I just used a blue and kind of a greeny turquoise there and I'm going back over with the white just so it doesn't it's not too sharp a color in there really wanted those light colors which is just not characteristic of me but I like it and now I'm just making um broken lines I guess there with my finger and some thick thicker magenta paint um, just adding some contrast there and then I got the idea I was like oh yellow would look good on here so I just took a little flat brush and made some yellow lines ar around the page as well just adding some interest there nothing fancy and it kind of mixed with the the magenta a little bit because it hadn't dried all the way and then I was kind of liking it and then I, I was just liking it I'm, I'm getting into these paints that don't dry very quickly because I used to always use those really cheap ones from Walmart the Apple Barrel which they do have a lot of good applications as well especially for crafts but doing art journaling I've really been enjoying the ones that don't dry as fast because I can play with them some more and there I'm just taking the palette knife and putting some like royal blue on there and just smushing it in random places having fun <laughs> all that good stuff you know I just let my brain go where it wanted to go and now I'm gonna use one of my favorite tools I've had this thing forever and I've just now really seen how handy they are and it's a heat gun I think this is really used for doing embossing because this sucker gets hot y'all you have to be careful with these things but it really helps me get the paint dry in between so I'm able to film a lot more. And used to, I would just have 10 pages going at once. I'd have them air drying as I go. And now I'm going to take that lady I cut out and we're going to add her to the background and see how she looks. Fingers crossed. It all goes well. And I did want to make a note here too. And it's something I've noticed doing magazine collage she come out of a magazine where they use kind of the thicker magazine paper so I didn't have any trouble uh, putting her on top of that palette knife background which has a little bit of a texture to it because the paper was thick enough to where it held its own integrity if you're using images out of say like a clothing catalog or something like that where they use a lot thinner magazine you may have trouble with some of that texture trying to crinkle through but she held her own she's got it <laughs> and now I'm just uh, going around with the palette knife again and trying to blend her in better because once I cut off the excess you know I cut off her arms <laughs> I'm terrible but I cut off her arms it looked to me almost like someone was holding her back trying to keep her from moving forward there it almost looks like someone's you know got her hand held back behind her and she's just trying to break on through and then I started seeing almost like she was coming through fire or smoke and it was starting to come together for me so I wanted it to look like she was um, coming through and breaking free of something that coat is just so epic I would so like hurt myself with that collar though <laughs> I'd lose my head. <laughs> and now I have some inks. I'm using some Dilutions inks in this one. And uh, while that's drying, the other one's drying, we're coming back and we're adding some more bright colors to that border there and just, I don't know, spicing it up a little bit. And these go on um, very bright. They do dry down just a little lighter and I love I've really been loving doing inks on top of paint and playing with that because they're not opaque so you can really do some fun layering and um, just add a whole nother dimension to your paint and then if you bring some stencils in and you're doing these different texture stencils um, with the ink and um, the paint and just mmm I love it <laughs> see and then I'm going to take some ink over my other 
a picture there just grunging it up some creating some more um smoky type effect and really blending her in some more with the transparent ink and um I forgot to mention I'm just using to apply the ink I don't have any fancy tools I have makeup sponges <laughs> that I got at the Dollar Tree ages ago and I don't know what brand this ink is I found it at Walmart like three years ago for on clearance for a quarter but it's a gray ink that has pigment in it it's not just straight ink it's a lot more opaque than the dilutions ink and it really created this smoke effect that I enjoyed and now I use my trusty label maker because I was just too stinking lazy <laughs> to um, go through all my magazine words just don't judge me y'all you know we're gonna say I meant it because that's the look <laughs> I was going for but I just did the first words that came into my mind. So for this one, I did your own little sanctuary. And it was just so much. It was, it was just fun. I like it. I, I've been liking using the label maker more. I still love find, doing the found word too. But label maker is really fun. And it's already sticky. And then this one I did. Um, Don't let the smoke fool you. Break on through or break through break right on through excuse me <laughs> don't let the smoke fool you break right on through and you'll see my little quirkiness here because I had to cut it again because I, I don't like evens so I had to have three <laughs> word pieces but I got to looking at her and I was saying how she looks like she's being held back and it got me to thinking about how you'll have all these other things that pop up in your life when you're trying to make strides and it's almost like there's smoke blurring the main picture you know that's keeping you from seeing that vision that you're heading toward so don't let the smoke fool you break through it and keep it going like keep going towards your goal and because I've been really into doodling lately we're gonna doodle some um, I have this hot pink a gel pen there and I have had this gel pen since I was in middle school it's still a going y'all it is still a going it has been a very very long time since I've been in middle school more than 20 years and that little pen it's still a going it's a fluorescent pink and then I'm just going over with white as well not too many doodles I'm not really doing curly cues as much as I usually do I'm just trying to add some wispy texture onto there to kind of um, tie in those flowers that are still peeking through a little bit and then I'm going to sign it with a gel pen uh, there she is super fun to do and I'm going to do the same thing but with a red metallic gel pen and a black gel pen and I'm not doing too much I just kind of want to add almost like a billowy type of texture that's very subtle on there and then um, I started playing around with the borders and I really liked the way this white looked around so I really I have to revisit this in another page just doing these very uh, rough lines all around the border and I, I was really digging it and here instead of outlining her completely like I usually do I put I put the white gel stuff down and then I immediately smushed it so that it was very soft and it was almost like a highlight so she's coming through but it's not so defined to where she doesn't look like she fits in the page so I was just smushing it around before it dried I'm just playing around with my doodles I love them and I signed it and there's the page that's the finished look I'm really happy with this one it's different than what I usually do but She's a very inspiring lady, so, you know, ain't no smoke going to hold her back whatsoever. And then got my own little sanctuary. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun, y'all. So again, I just want to thank you so much for spending some more journaling time with me. Um, I just 
got some stress out the day. I've had a super stressful time as of late. <laughs> so, as you all know, that have been with my main channel for a long time. When it gets real stressful, you know, some art and some crafts are going to happen. So this channel has been so fun in that respect. But thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you want to see these pages before I get them uploaded on YouTube, I try to post images on Instagram of pages that I've completed. So you can follow me there at Jen with the Cats. I also have a Facebook page, Jen with the Cats, which is the name of my main channel. But again, thank you all for joining me for another art therapy session. <laughs> And I hope y'all have a fabulous day, fabulous evening, fabulous morning, or just fabulous whatever you want to be fabulous. <laughs> but thank y'all so much, and I will see y'all next Sunday. Bye.